Floyd caught that dude with like Floyd ain't even trained for this fight, man. Floyd caught that dude with a body shot, went up top. The dude dropped like a damn folded chair, a plastic folded chair. This dude, Tension, I, I think is how you pronounce his name, Tension Nasukawa. The, he looked like a little kid compared to Floyd in the ring. And you, like I said, he, Floyd didn't take this fight seriously. Probably the easiest payday he's ever had in his career, uh, Floyd is. I mean, I, I've heard he made like $9 million for fighting uh, a guy in less than a minute, if not a little bit over a minute. Damn, this dude crying. <laughs> that dude tissue crying, man. That's crazy. Um... But yeah, Floyd stopped this dude, Tenshin Nasukawa, in the first round. Like I said, Floyd didn't take this fight seriously. He got his, you know, went up in there, did what he did, basically used his 20 years of experience compared to this guy's 20, uh, compared to this guy's 20-year-old living on this planet. So Floyd is has 20 years of experience versus this guy being 20 years old living on this planet. Of course, that's going to overshadow <laughs> any kind of so-called experience this guy Tenshin Nasukawa has as a boxer, if you will. Um, but yeah, man, you know, I just wanted to just do a quick video on this and, and also talk about how, you know, well, this con well, this continues to happen. But Floyd continues to be and show and prove how much of a great business acumen he has. And obviously he learns from the best, which is Al Heyman. Going into Japan to fight a guy, a novice boxer, if that, and uh, uh, and you know, and um, doing an exhibi uh, exhibition match, a sparring session, if you will, for seven figures, probably more than that. I guess he does. He probably gets a pay per view share, or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? That's my son in the background playing. Um, but yeah, man, you know. Um, Floyd continues to show and prove. He's 41 years old. Uh, like I said, he didn't even train for this fight. No sweat. <laughs> Floyd is, like I said, Floyd, you can say what you want of Floyd outside of the ring. Obviously, Floyd is the ultimate uh, Sambo Coon outside of the ring, you know, saying that what did Africa do for me lately, you know, doesn't understand the importance of, of uh, black economical uh, power, you know, um, circulating the dollar run black society stuff like that that we as black people understand and, and, and appreciate um, you know when it comes to black economical black economic empowerment and things of that nature I'm not talking about what he does outside of the ring is my point we're not talking about that we're talking about what he does inside of the ring and you know you can still question well Floyd didn't take this fight he ducked this fight he did that in the third whatever the case may be you know we can all we can all argue about that till we blew in the face but at the end of the day the guy's still undefeated the guy's actually retired and still has all his faculties and still making um you know eight seven eight figure paydays for basically sparring you know um and i and, and i want to draw the comparison to him and, and muhammad ali in this aspect because i've talked about this in other videos where muhammad ali muhammad ali was doing the same thing as floyd well i should say Floyd is doing the same thing as Muhammad Ali, but but Floyd is getting backlash for for doing the same thing as Muhammad Ali. Floyd fought, excuse me, Muhammad Ali fought a Japanese wrestler. Now, mind you, the Japanese wrestler Antonio uh, Inaki, I believe how you pronounce his name. Muhammad Ali was still a professional fighter, a professional boxer during that time. He was still in professional fights. He was not retired, so he went to Japan and fought a, and fought some Japanese wrestler was praised by that Muhammad Ali was and then um he went to fight a uh, freaking um a uh, football player an NFL football player by the name of Lyle Alzada Lyle Alzada okay then he went to fight a freaking uh, a hockey player another exhibition fight so three exhibition fights you know what I'm saying? During during his professional career and after he retired, after you know his professional boxing career, he was um, doing these exhibition matches. And then Floyd is accused of being a celebrity boxing uh, a celebrity boxing um, personality. 
Floyd is being accused of uh, being accused of being a celebrity boxer, right? Well, keep that same energy for Muhammad Ali. You know, if you if if, if Floyd is getting on his backlash for fighting the Conor McGregor's of the world and the Tenshin Nasukawa's of the world, then so show the same energy for Muhammad Ali for fighting a Japanese wrestler, Antonio Inaki, a freaking hockey player, Dave Saminko, and Lyle Alzado, a football player, a hockey player, a football player, and a wrestler. That Muhammad Ali fought. And Muhammad Ali gets praised. But yeah, Floyd, you know, has backlash for fighting Conor McGregor and Tenshin Nashukawa. You know, keep that same energy, man. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, Floyd did his thing, man. Um, stopped this guy in the first round in the towel. Uh, in the, the corner actually threw in the towel. Because um, he was getting molly -wobbed. I'm watching the fight. It's on Twitter. It's only like a minute and 40 seconds, basically. <laughs> The clip is a minute and 41 seconds to be exact. Uh, and it shows Floyd just basically just... I'll leave the link in the description for the fight so y'all can check it out yourself. Obviously, I'm not going to show it on, on here. And plus, by the way, I got a new phone. I got the I got the 10s. I got the iPhone 10s Max. To me, man, I'm going to be honest, man. The phone... And not to differentiate a little bit from the, co the topic, but the phone... Uh, it's about the same size as my previous one. I had the, 7, I had the iPhone 7 Plus. The physical size of the phone is the same, but the screen capacity is a little bit wider. That's the only difference. Um, I do notice a difference in camera quality and the way my picture is showing is a lot, is a lot clearer as well. So I, I do, I do give the, I do give the phone that. But yeah, like I said, I got a new phone, family. Um, but yeah, you know, back to Floyd, man. He stopped this dude. I, I'll take that back. He stopped this dude in less than a minute. Yeah, the clip is, is a minute and 41 seconds, but he actually stopped them under a minute. Went to the body, went, went back with a right, um, a uh, straight right, and stopped this dude. And this dude, Tenshin, Nasukawa, um, yeah, he continues. This dude, Tenshin Nasukawa, he didn't belong in the ring at all, man. He, did, he didn't belong in the ring at all. He got knocked down three times. And I kind of misspoke the, the 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 knockdown I just talked about. That was the second one. This is the third one I'm watching right now. This is when his corner throws in the towel. Yeah, his his corner still throws in the towel. <laughs> this dude was crying too, man. It's crazy. He's 20 years old. Like I said, you know, Floyd has over 20 years of boxing experience, which is basically longer than this guy, Tenshin Nasukawa, has been on this planet. You know what I'm saying? So... Like I said, man, you know, in terms of Floyd's business acumen, second to none, um, I just, you know, I don't just don't understand why, why dudes try to follow the Mayweather blueprint inside the ring as far as his business acumen and what he does inside the ring. You know, because it's second to none, man. You know, you, you can't match it. You can't match it, man. You just can't. So... That was, a easy, that was easy work, easy money, easy payday for Floyd. And he, he leaves off the year with a bang. <laughs> right, I guess right now it's, it's 2019 in Japan. But, uh, you know, um, yeah, man. He made, they're saying he made over $9 million. Whatever the case may be, he made a lot of money. You know, a lot of money for fighting in the sparring session. So... Anyway, fam, those are my quick thoughts about that. Leave your comments down below about this fight. I, like I said, I'll have the links to the fight in the description so you can check it out yourself. Um, it's about a minute and 41 seconds on Twitter that I see a uh, clip <laughs> of this fight, man. Um, yeah, man, this is, this is... And another thing I want to add to, man, here's the thing. He stopped this guy. He's a novice, obviously. This guy, Tension. Is a novice in boxing. Clearly didn't belong in the ring with Floyd. Tension took this fight seriously. Floyd didn't. Floyd just used his, his over 20 years of boxing experience to dominate this guy. Inside of, uh, you know, beating this guy in, in about a minute and some change. But don't make it seem like Floyd is ready to get back in the ring with the killers. He's not going to be fighting the Errol Spences, the Terrence Crawfords of the world, the Keith Thurmans of the world, the Triple Gs of the world. The, he's not going to rematch Canelo. He's not going to do that. That's that's high risk. According to Floyd's logic, that's high risk, 
low reward. He's looking for low risk, high reward fights like a Conor McGregor, like a Tension Nasukawa, like anybody else, some billionaire who's willing to pay him a lot of money to fight a, uh, a novice boxer. He's looking for low risk, high reward fights. That's it. He's not going to risk himself at 41 years old to fight these younger guys. He's not. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, but yeah, those, it is what it is, fam. Like I said, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, last video of the year. I'm not sure if I'll make another video uh, this year. We'll see. Just stay tuned. Make sure you follow me on social media at GMOG Media TV on Instagram. GMOG Media TV on Instagram. So I may do a live stream on there. So stay tuned, family. Until next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Shout out to Dilla. Peace.